Six days a week, Republic Services trucks dump 4,500 tons of trash into this landfill in Oberlin. Trucks coming in from every direction. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Downtown Cleveland, all the way to Vermillion, uh, dumping garbage. Last Wednesday started out no differently until Republic Services Operations Supervisor Gary Sappin says they got a frantic call from one of their customers saying she lost something important in the garbage. It turned out to be $25,000. And you'll never believe how she and her family lost it. They were cleaning out their house. Uh, for their grandmother, and they cleaned up the refrigerator, threw all the garbage, grabbed all the freezer stuff, put it in a bag, and then the grandma's like, hey, there's an envelope with $25,000 in there, don't lose that. And she's like, grandma, I already lost that. I'm like, it's in the garbage. Sappin says they immediately got to work to find the missing money. One team was trying to track down the driver and find out exactly what his location was, if he made it to the landfill yet. Because once trash hits the landfill, it's game over. What happens when they get to the landfill is they will come in, they'll drop off their load of garbage, the bulldozers will immediately start smoothing it out. If it got dropped there, there was, <laughs> there's no finding it anymore. Sappin and his team made arrangements for that truck driver to drop off his load at this recycling center in Oberlin. That load was about half the size of this 12-ton pile, and once it was all dumped out, it was all hands on deck to find that cash. I told the, the gals, I said, uh, you know, if it's in there, we'll find it for you because they were pretty upset. Operations manager Dan Shavey was one of the 10 workers who jumped in to search for the money and was the lucky one who spotted the bag. Couldn't believe it. It took 10 minutes and I actually, I seen it. I said, man, that looks just like that. Pulled it off, opened it up, and there, there was the package inside with the money in it. They were, they were so happy, they were tearing up.